The dog ate my homework. Well, tis the season. My December has been marvelously hectic. Some time ago, I conducted an informal survey on this venue about whether my followers would rather be quietly bored or oversubscribed. And the results almost unanimously suggested we'd all rather be on overload than run out of things to do, responsibilities, places to go, people to see. It's as if our identities are defined by our levels of activity. December for me has been an indication that this data is accurate. I'm at least a week late getting this published, and I owe it all to marvelous, life-affirming overload. I've had this spectacular model train display to set up at our downtown Missouri Athletic Club. Check. Uh, spent a day at Pea Ridge Tree Farm, about 90 miles west of here, finding and cutting the perfect Christmas tree, followed by a couple of bottles of fine Missouri Vignoles at Blumenhof Winery. Check. We lost my favorite rally partner, Chuck Serdike, and had to deal with his funeral. That took wind out of my sails. I maintained a full schedule of training and follow-up with my favorite manufacturing client, WB Industries. I attended the Performance Racing Industry show for the first time in Indianapolis for three days. I sang six seatings of Breakfast with Santa on two consecutive weekends caroling with our men's chorus. Then my daughter and her husband and son arrived from Virginia to spend seven days with us and get in and out of town before Christmas. We chased a wonderful 10-year-old boy around the sights and sounds of St. Louis the whole time and still didn't miss yet another day at our favorite Blumenhof winery for a delightful afternoon. Oh yeah, we put on a little party every year this time, about 125 of our closest friends with attendees from as far away as Michigan and Indiana. Margaret makes the house glow. And I maintained a full daily workout routine through all this, trying desperately to bank calories in advance, and I'm losing on that front. I'm even feeling overload as I just put this little list together, and I love it. So I'm a week or two late. It was worth it. I'll try to do better next year. Maybe. And speaking of next year, new ideas for 2022. Stay tuned. And please, if you want to continue to receive these missives, click on the subscribe button and sign up. I'll be flushing this mailing list after the beginning of New Year's, paring it down to the enlightened group who believes they actually benefit from these misses. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.